Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I get to be a part of the We All Scream for Ice Cream hop. So let's jump right into the card. So as you can see, I've kind of made a pattern paper card, and I will tell you a little bit more about the hop here when we get into it. And I am going to make a slimline card. So I'm going to cut down a piece of cardstock to six inches by six inches. That is my preferred size for a mini slimline card. And then it's scored at the three inch mark. So the card base is going to be uh, six inches by three inches once it's scored here in the middle. And we are going to do a pattern paper card, as I kind of mentioned. And bear with me, uh, I don't generally do pattern paper cards, but I really wanted to be a part of this hop and I was so excited. And then I went through my stash and realized that I didn't really have anything that was frozen treat themed except this pattern paper. And a friend of mine lent me this super cute stamp that I'm going to use here to make my own pattern paper in a little bit. So bear with me for this card. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know. Uh, if you have any tips on making uh, pattern paper cards, please let me know because I have, I don't usually make them. So I'm a bit, a bit uh, in my, out of my element here. So for my layers, the first one that I've cut there, I'm going to tell you what the layer of the mirror cardstock is, the silver foils cardstock here. Um, and then it's an eighth of an inch bigger than the colored panel. So the one I just cut there is two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And the um, panel is like an eighth of an inch smaller. And then I brought in this. So the popsicle one, the one I just cut, I don't actually know. I know it's a doodle bug paper, but I, I can't find it. So I mean, but you could use any pattern paper you want. I mean, this could be recreated with any kind of variation. This is just kind of my take on some stuff I had in my staff that really, my stash that fit the theme. So I mean, you could recreate this to be anything. It's just, this is in this case, frozen treat themed. And this second uh, piece of cardstock here is a doodle bug. It was from the the barbecue, the or barbecue, sorry, six by six pattern paper card uh, pack from Doodle Bug. Um, everything I used is linked to list down below, unless it's something that I can't list as this uh, the pattern paper there because I can't find it. Um, but like the little stamp that my girlfriend lent me, I can't link that because I don't. I don't know where it came from and she wasn't sure either. So it's really cute, fits in really well to this. And then the second panel I'm cutting, I'm trimming it a bit larger here. I'm gonna trim it down again in a bit after I've stamped on it, but it's two and one quarter by five and one quarter. Um, and then we're gonna trim it down again after I've stamped on it. So about this hop, so it's a group of, of really creative people got together to share some frozen treat inspired uh, creations to celebrate summer because it's summer here in the northern hemisphere where we all live um, and uh, you're going to find tons of great projects because I know that the people who create these are always super amazingly creative um, and in this you will find the hashtag ice cream treats and you can click on that it'll be in my description box down below and it'll take you to the, the people in the hop. Um, and the next person in the hop will, of course, also be linked just down below that. And there are prize giveaways uh, in throughout this hop. I'm going to have one. I'll tell you the details about it as we get a little further into the video here. Um, and then I'll show you the stamps that I'm giving away at the end of the video. Uh, but I am having a prize. So uh, stick tuned for that. And then we'll get to there. And then the littlest panel, you can kind of see that that's the little one that I cut out. Um, it's going to be one and three quarters by two and one quarter. Um, but honestly, these are kind of guesstimates because I eyeball a lot of my measurements. So you can pretty well kind of do the same thing if you want to, uh, completely up to you. And this is that super cute stamp set that my girlfriend lent me. Luckily, I have a friend in town here who is also into uh, crafting. So she lent me this so that I could add it to the background there and create kind of my own pattern paper with it to kind of go with this theme. So this is the only stamping involved. Uh, you could again use a different pattern paper if you wanted to. This is just, I really wanted to incorporate this super cute stamp set after she showed it to me. So uh, that's the reason I brought it in. And I brought it in in an oxide. I used a uh, hickory smoke because the gray went with the background in the little panel that I cut out to kind of be the sentiment. Uh, so that's kind of why I matched it there. So that was kind of what I was thinking. And then I'm going to mirror cardstock every layer of this. Um, this is silver foil cardstock by Concord and Ninth. Um, and I'm going to layer every level or every layer is layered by a piece of this mirror cardstock. And now you could absolutely cut out the centers and save it if you wanted to. 
by all means, you could absolutely do this. In this instance, I'm not going to do that because the slimline card, the mini slimline card is quite small to start with. And the pattern paper isn't super thick. I was concerned that if I cut out the centers, that there wouldn't be enough uh, stability in my cards. So I didn't do that, but you absolutely could. Uh, I just chose not to in this instance. So a bit about uh, the, the prize giveaway that I'm doing. I have this super cute mini stamp set by Brutus and Monroe that I, I haven't used. I'm trying to kind of clean up my stash and, and get rid of some things that I haven't used and, and rehome them to somebody who, who will love them. So I'm going to have this super cute little crab uh, stamp at the end of this video. I'll show you a picture. Or I'm going to hold it up in the camera right after we finish the card so you guys can see it. Um, and to enter my giveaway, I need you to leave me a comment. Um, and tell me what your favorite technique is. I, I would like you to be subscribed to my channel if, if you guys don't uh, mind and if you like everything that I kind of create here. I'd love to have you subscribe and leave me a comment with whatever your favorite technique is so you can share that with me. And then at the end of this week, so this goes up on the 17th, I believe. Yes. Uh, so the end of it will be a week from the 17th. So I will announce a winner um, I'm going to announce a winner uh, earlier than that. I'd like 48 hours just because I find other ways people don't come back and check if they've won and there's no way for me to contact them. So, um, so leave your comments and this is going up on the 17th. So the 19th, I'm going to announce the winner. So please come back and check if it's you, if you can, um, that'd be great. Otherwise <laughs> I just keep picking a winner until someone tells me that they're the winner. And then I end up with like six videos. So if you could check back, that would be fabulous. And then, so here I just brought in my Barely Art glue and I just adhered a few of the strips on the inside of my card base just to add them in there since I had them. Uh, and then you saw that I used that Barely Art glue as well to adhere my layers together. Uh, and then we're going to bring in some uh, embellishments to kind of add a little pizzazz to this card. So, but yeah, make sure that you listen to each uh, video in the hop. They're going to have different rules of what they would like to win, whatever their prizes. I know there are a few people doing them, so be sure to listen close to whatever uh, they, they say that they would like for their uh, prize. Uh, and make sure that you leave some likes and leave some comments and leave some thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, guys. It's uh, it's really great to be able to share our passion with everybody. And it's it's really nice to know if you enjoy what we're making. It's it's hard to um, to know if you want to see some things like this or you want to see different things or, or anything like that unless you actually comment and tell us what you'd like. So uh, be sure to leave a comment, leave a like, leave a, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I know that there are some wonderful creators out there that are just sharing their passion and it's awesome to see some support from people. So it's it's always so lovely and great that we appreciate it so much. So I am adhering just my layers together here onto my card base. And I kind of played around with the idea of what to do with my kind of sentiment piece here. Um, and you saw that I layered in the pattern paper as well. I just wanted it to differentiate from the background just because it was light gray and my stamped piece was light gray. So I just kind of wanted to differentiate it there with some more layers. And that also added some dimension to it, which I think really helped. And then I brought in just some doodle bug. I think they're like heart sprinkles or shaped heart sprinkles. Um, and just added a few around the bottom kind of on an angle. Uh, I did most of them kind of match the pattern paper. They're not an exact match for the pattern paper, but I think that they're fairly close. So I don't think that they really stand out too much from what I'm kind of doing. And I did opt to use one of each color. In the beginning here, you're only going to see me put on five in kind of a pattern. And then I... I come back in and like in, this, in a minute and then I add uh, the two more just so you know I like to do uneven numbers that's kind of my preference um, but you don't have to do uneven numbers that's just how I like to do it it's usually more eye-catching that way um, so I put on five originally and then came back in uh, in a second here and I'm going to add just two more to the bottom so it kind of comes across on an angle like I'm starting kind of from the bottom right corner going up to the top left corner is kind of what I was doing. So it just kind of pulls your eye a bit to a different area. And then that's kind of all I thought would be necessary for an embellishment. So this is a bit of a simpler card for me. I tend to overthink things and, and that's a bit interesting. So I thought that since the card was a bit more simple, I would also make an envelope to match. So the envelope here, it's a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, I have no idea where I got it, to be honest with you. I have had some of this 
like solid colored pattern paper in my stash for a long time. So I'm not even 100% sure where I got it. And I have the 123 Memory Keepers punch board. And I just held up the measurements there. The uh, paper needs to be cut to seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths. It needs to be a square. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is just one a large trimmer so that I can cut twelve by twelve cardstock. Uh, I don't generally show it on camera just because it doesn't really fit in the frame. But um, I've have had some people ask about making envelopes, so I thought that I would show it actually step by step here so that you could kind of see it. And then for the actual envelope making the punch says that we need to punch at two and three quarters. So I line it up at the two and three quarter mark, punch it, and then I bring in my Teflon bone folder and I use the first slot there on the side to do my uh, corner, like I'm scoring it so that I can fold it. And then you just keep going around. You make sure that it fits into, there's kind of like a groove on the other side. You make sure that it fits on that groove and then you just punch it again and keep going around in a circle. And then that's how you make the envelope. It, it's pretty awesome actually. I'm a pretty big fan of the uh, envelope punch board. And I do prefer to round my corners. This isn't necessary. You could absolutely leave them squared. Uh, totally is preference. I just personally like to round my corners. And since uh, people have been asking me how I make mine, I'm just going to show you uh, step by step how I kind of like to do it. And then I'm just going to fold in each side and, and reinforce the sides with the bone folder there just to get them so that they're a nice like solid crease uh, and then I don't have any problems closing it up here in a second and for adhering envelopes I prefer score tape you can use liquid glue um, I don't because I don't like it uh, I, I'm worried that it's gonna kind of mess out into the sides and then my project will get stuck shut and I don't like that so I, I'm not confident enough to use liquid glue but you can absolutely liquid glue can be quite strong and there you saw I just trimmed off the top and the the ends there for the flaps just because they wouldn't fit uh, you wouldn't be able to close the envelopes so and then here you can see I'm just showing you that my card fits in there perfectly because this envelope is specific excuse me, for a six by three sized card. So I brought in some quarter inch score tape and I always like to put it on the flaps on the sides. Uh, again, you could absolutely put it on the top, like the flap that you're folding up, which is the bottom. Um, if you're confident in you're not going to miss the flap, but I just find it easier to just put it on the flap that I'm going to adhere to. And then I don't have to worry about the fact that my card might get stuck. So I, that's just my preference. Um, there's no wrong way to do it. Uh, I, I just, I don't want to glue my envelope shut and then not be able to stick my card inside. So that's just how I like to do. And then I also usually will add it to the top flap at the same time, just so that it's ready to go when I want to mail it. Um, you could do this later if you prefer. Uh, we, you don't remove the, like, the part that's keeping the adhesive, but it's just ready to go. So whenever I want to actually go and mail the, the card, I can. And then here I'm just going to show that it it's going to fit in the envelope and hold it up so you can kind of see that uh, foiled cardstock since you can't really see it when the card's sitting flat. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of this pattern paper card um, or if you have any tips for me about making pattern paper cards. They're not generally my specialty, but I think it turned out pretty cute and I, I, I liked making it. So it was a lot of fun to kind of work with pattern paper I have in my stash when I generally don't since that that's not generally what I think to, to make. So I would love to know what you guys think. And then here's that little stamp set. He's just a little crab and he says, Do, don't be crabby. I think he's adorable. And if you'd like to win him, please leave me a comment, leave me a like, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys again soon with another video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye for now.